this week's theme is nature's wisdom. You know, how can we learn from the inherent wisdom uh, that mother nature shares with us each autumn and discover the same wisdom within ourselves? Uh, Emerson says, adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. So the fall is a time to notice the inherent wisdom in the changing seasons as birds migrate, trees shed their leaves, and animals prepare to hibernate. And just as nature has her own inherent wisdom, we too have our own inherent wisdom. We just need to quiet the mind so that we can begin to hear what our own internal voice of wisdom is saying. And mindfulness practices can really help us settle the mind. And in that, we also need to bring a little patience to our experience. You know, in our striving world, we often forget the importance of patience, right? Because often our impulse is actually to be impatient, whether it's with ourselves or with those around us, or just with the actual situation. Right? Impatience with ourselves can really come from this incessant need to compare ourselves to others. I'm not smart enough, tall enough, successful enough, aggressive enough, old enough, young enough, rich enough, and the list goes on. Uh, when we stop comparing ourselves to other or to some preconceived ideas how you know, we're supposed to be, we can begin to see that there's no hurry to get anywhere or to be anything different than what we already are. And that we are perfect just as we are, perfect in our own imperfections. So patience is allowing things to unfold in their own time, right? Being open to each moment rather than trying to control our experience or be like somebody else. John Kabat-Zinn says it beautifully, patience is a form of wisdom. It demonstrates that we understand and accept the fact that sometimes things simply must unfold in their own time. But know that we can intentionally cultivate patience by being present with this unfolding moment to moment experience by allowing things to be just as they are without wishing they were any different. And that is actually mindfulness in a nutshell having an awareness of what is happening right now without wishing it were any different. When we're impatient, we are often wishing that things were different, that they would happen more quickly or that they would unfold in a different way. And this kind of striving for things to be different, this kind of impatience really creates an activity of the mind that causes us not only to miss the present moment, but it also causes us stress. It clouds our ability to also tune in to what our own internal wisdom is trying to tell us. So in this overactive mind, we may miss the beauty of what could have been a simple moment of joy, appreciation, or contentment, right? So these practices really are about stilling the mind a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, we have thoughts, it's just a practice, right? Nobody is saying to get rid of the thoughts, but just trying to come back to each moment and see it for what it really is. And so um, we're going to move into our um, formal part of the um, meditation. And I'm going to invite us to perhaps explore um, a little bit about patience and impatience. Um, and so just finding a comfortable posture and whatever that means for you, could even be laying down, um, but making any kind of an adjustment that might be necessary. And then if it feels comfortable for you, closing your eyes or softening the gaze. And then just taking a moment to have this sense of arrival, arriving in the space that you're in, you may have just been moving from one room to another, but it may have been another kind of transition. So just letting yourself feel like you're actually arriving 
in the space, in the chair that you're sitting in. in your own body, in this moment. So inviting this sense of arriving at your own door. Maybe even using the contact points of the soles of the feet on the floor or inside your shoes. Maybe even feeling the tug on the sock across the toes. Or perhaps using the sit bones as a way of becoming more present through the tactile sensation. Or even noticing where your hands are resting, whether it's in each other, in your lap, or on your thighs. So using these physical sensations as a way of really knowing that you're here, I'm here. And now as you're ready, tuning into the breath. Just noticing how the breath is, following one breath in, one breath out. Noticing if it's a full breath, a thin breath, deep or shallow. I want the breath be just as it is, not try to change it at all. Letting it be an anchor into the body. And now we're just gonna take a moment to explore what impatience feels like for you in the body. So I'm going to invite you to call to mind an occasion in the past week or just the recent past in which you were impatient. You know, perhaps you were in line at a grocery store and, and the checkout clerk was slower than you would have liked. Or maybe you were caring for an elderly parent. Or maybe your child wouldn't get dressed for school as quickly as you would have liked. Or some other moment where you could feel impatience rising. So not choosing a terribly challenging situation, but just choosing something mild to moderate. And then just a couple of things may have arisen, but for now, just choosing one and settling on that moment of impatience, or perhaps it was moments or minutes, perhaps the impatience lasted even longer. And then just begin to call to mind as many details as possible. Where were you? What was the situation? What was being said 
what was happening in the moment. Just be playing this situation as if it were happening now. And then taking a moment to scan your body. Are you feeling that impatience in this moment? Can you kind of tune in? So scanning the body from the feet all the way to the crown of the head and just noticing any physical sensations that may have been making themselves known to you. Right? Maybe it's a tightness in the belly, tension in the shoulders, or even a clenching of the jaw. How does impatience feel for you? If it's possible, tuning in even more closely and really noticing what it's like to be impatient, drawing a circle of awareness around it. Maybe even tuning into any emotions that accompany the feelings of impatience. Maybe there's an unsettling feeling of urgency or of feeling disconnected, distracted even. Scattered, jittery, just a general feeling of uneasiness perhaps. We're just taking another moment or two to explore this feeling. And now just letting this go. And then tuning back into the breath. allowing each breath to unfold in its own time. Allowing each breath to be as it is. Maybe even noticing if you're trying to change it or control it. So inviting patients here Letting the breath rise and fall in its own time. Inviting patience. And just noticing what that is like. Perhaps there's a sense of spaciousness. What does patience feel like in the body? Maybe there's just a bit of warmth or an overall sense of ease when we're allowing Allowing, allowing. A sense of having patience with whatever's here right now, with how the breath is right now. And if for you there isn't this sense of 
ease or spaciousness, that's okay too. Having patience for that. Because in this patience, we can see that each moment is a new opportunity, a new experience, a new opportunity to let things be just as they are. And that in itself invites patience. And when we're having difficulties, it isn't easy to invite patience. Whether it's difficulty at work, in an important relationship, or maybe it's a health-related issue. But if we can make room for things to be just as they are, there is a little bit of spaciousness. We can even find a little bit of ease in dis-ease. Our resistance and incessant layering, that activity of the mind creates stress and dis-ease. So if we can even allow the challenges to be as they are, these challenges in our life and have patience giving them the room they need to change, shift. Everything changes and shifts in time. Our resistance our impatience simply intensifies what's here in this moment. Not to say that we're resigned to, oh, this is how it is, but giving the room it needs to shift. And this allowing, this is patience. And if we can see the wisdom in this, patience, we can also see the wisdom we have within ourselves. And then that can be the point to move forward from. Because some things we simply can't change. Because they're here right now. You know, just taking a moment to tune in. How is it right now in this practice of allowing things to be just as they are? In this practice of having patience for ourselves, 
for the good, the bad, the ugly, the unwanted. And if the mind has wandered off, or if there's been impatience with this meditation, that's okay. The mind wanders, that's what it does. So just with this recognition, having patience with yourself, because this is so. And simply gently guiding the mind back. To the breath. this practice of patience for the unfolding moment to moment experience. And perhaps if the mind may have wandered again, noticing if perhaps you're judging yourself and here instead, can you invite some kindness, being patient with yourself, knowing that being patient is an act of self-compassion. It's actually an act of love. Now perhaps turning your awareness to sound. So not searching for any sounds, but allowing the sounds to enter your ears as they come into the field of your awareness. And this is a good practice of patience, allowing sounds to be just as they are. You know, perhaps there have been times when you've felt impatience over your neighbor's car alarm going off or Perhaps their dog barking, maybe the landscapers outdoors. So letting sound now, whether they're internal or external, just be part of your experience, just as it is. So taking a moment just to notice any sounds in your environment right now. And perhaps just letting them be just as they are. Sound for the sake of sound. And then just letting go of your attention to sounds. Letting go of this practice. And sitting for a moment, resting in your own experience just as it is. 
and just as you are. And perhaps gently opening the eyes or letting them remain closed or the gaze lowered while I read this poem. Patience, beautiful, isn't she? Unlike anything you've ever seen, she stands tall, reigning over us. There's nothing that she cannot conquer. And in her domain is where we wander. She is above and beyond us all. And when from the great mountain's height, we experience a destructive fall, we crawl to her for hope. Only in the dark do we know patience sparks beauty. So tell me, isn't she beautiful? And then as you're ready, just kind of reorienting yourself to the space, maybe just taking a look around, taking in your space as a way of kind of coming back to the technology in front of you. So I'm going to invite you for the week to think about the wisdom of patience. And you may have noticed from the activity of the mind as we practiced some of that impatience and patience that impatience isn't a great feeling, right? It can cause us a lot of stress and feel very uncomfortable in the body, but we do it anyway. So again, it's a practice. So um, the invitation is to practice patience this week, whether it's with yourself, with others, or even the world around you and, and things that are out of your control, but you find yourself becoming impatient with. Right? So kind of soften into the space in the body where you feel the impatience and invite some patience. <laughs> 